metalheads? Welcome to one of a part of a mini series of videos that we will be doing in regard to the piece that we will be painting for the Nova Open 2020 charity raffle. This year we are partaking in the collaboration with multiple other artists to do the big army raffle, which this year is Blood Angels. This year what I get to paint is the Blood Angels Death Company! I'm so excited. So what I figured by doing a mini-series, there's two things that I wanted to do by doing that. One is, I know that sometimes certain hobbyists want tips and tricks on how to paint or how to do certain things on a model. So I figured by breaking it down that way into multiple videos that would help cater to, the, to those, right? And but the second thing I wanted to do by doing a series is this introduction will be put into each video. So if you've already seen it before and you want to fast forward, feel free. But by doing this intro, I wanted to help also create more of an awareness of what Nova Open is and their foundation. To tell you a little more, the Nova Open Foundation is a group that puts together money, helps raise money for multiple types of charities, many of which are close to our heart and I know that at least to at least one of you, such as the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, the Fisher House, which helps support military families, Doctors Without Borders, the Wires Wildlife Rescue, the International Wildlife Rescue, the Houston Food Bank, Child's Play, Cohen's Children's Hospital, help DWB uh, prepare for COVID-19 and take and help other people with that, uh, and the Wounded Warriors Project, and many more. So if you want to find out more and see if you can do your part by donating some money or perhaps partake in a raffle to win other really cool, awesome painted stuff and the money always goes to the charities, just go ahead and check out NovaOpenFoundation.org. So thank you so much for watching this video and please feel free to like, share, leave a comment and also please, by all means, help spread the word. And you can follow us also if you want to check us out, metalheadminis.com. Thanks for watching. All right, what's up, metalheads? In today's video, I'm going to go over edge highlighting. Now, for those of you who might not be familiar, some people refer to this as like the GW method because you over the years you've seen a lot of different games workshop models that are done with the highlighting in this style. Okay, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly go over with you how to do it. This is a really simple technique and it's a great way to get some models out on the table ready for play and still have them have that little extra bit of pop. Okay, the only part of this that takes practice is having the brush control, knowing how gentle to go in order to maintain these nice neat lines okay the other part to this would be what colors do you use so for example here with the black because this is death company and the box art for this nova piece is mostly just done in gray i picked a nice light gray from one of the old gw foundation colors you might not be familiar with it i forgot exactly if this was um a wolves gray or the foundation version of, of a uh, not codex gray but like because codex gray is a little dark a bit darker than this but this is the color that I use it's got some blue in it and this is what I use for the edge highlighting now other colors that you can use for black it's really up to you and it depends on what kind of look you're going for for example some people who are doing black will sometimes use uh, brighter blues more like a turquoise if you will uh, perhaps some green uh, you could use regular gray a blue gray with more blue than what is in this color and things like that so it really depends on what it is that you're looking to do but basically no matter what color you're doing your objective should be to get something that's a bit light a lot lighter so that way you get some good pop so for example if you're doing red you would want to use like if you're doing GW fire dragon bright so an, an orange right uh, and then if you're doing uh, a light gray obviously you would do a white yellow you could sit there and do white in that case as well those are just some examples so I hope that information helps so let's get started I'm going to use this guy over here. <laughs> so as you can see here, he's all black and he's ready for edge highlighting. I'm starting off by doing the edge highlighting on the black because when I start filling in everything else, it'll just make it easier for me to work with. I use a fine detail brush. Basically, one of the thinnest that I have is what I end up using. One thing of note when it comes to doing edge highlighting, do it steadily, a little bit at a time. Clean your brush a lot in between. 
because you'll need to. All right. Also, unless the paint is thick and really clumpy or something, don't really thin it down because you're going to need it so that it's stiff enough to go along that edge. All right. So that, so those are a couple of things to note for you. Now we're going to get to now we're going to get to it. The rest of it should be smooth sailing after that. Take some of that light gray that I showed you. Make sure to just get the tip of the brush. Don't go all the way up halfway or to the top or anything like that because that's actually more paint than what you'll need. It'll also increase the chance that the paint would end up pooling. You don't want that, okay? So we're going to go all along this edge here. Use the side of your brush there. Go gently and lightly and steadily go over. And the more that you do that, the neater it will be. That's what you want. See, I did not thin this paint down at all. It was already, I already thinned it in the bottle though too, in all fairness to, to the paint because foundations from the last generation of GW paint were pretty thick. But hopefully that shows you there. See this line here. So I got that line there along the edge. It went nice and gently. Do it one more time for you. How about that? Let's do that. Put a little bit at the tip there. See on the tip of the brush. That's it. Just a little. All right. And you saw that I cleaned in between too, right? Get a nice hold on that model and just go along. Use the side of the brush, the side part there, the tip of the brush, and just go along that edge nice and gentle. There you go. See, we got an edge done, all right? So other parts that you would edge highlight on would be like the panel lining that you might see. I know it's hard to see because this is all black, but uh, there's some panel lining here where there's grooves, so you would put some there along the sides along the top of the helm. So I'll even go back with this previous one and show you if you want. You see here in this previous one how I went around the head, the shoulder, on the edge. Now Death Company, it's mostly black, so that's why it was easy for me to just go over with the gray there on the shoulder. And then along on the jump pack there on the edges, you would do that at the top and at the bottom. And anywhere else that you can see where there's an area of opportunity outside where there could be some edge highlighting. Now what's going to happen in the beginning stages until you develop a good sense of brush control and also until you develop the muscle memory because what happens is when you do squads and big groups that are of models that are similar in shape and look, you start developing a muscle memory for the shapes. So you do start getting quicker at it as you go along. But in the beginning stages, while you're trying to develop brush control, or maybe you're just doing one model in particular, or maybe it's been a while since you've edge highlighted or what have you, it doesn't matter. But if you mess up and you end up making the line, let's say, a bit thicker than you wanted, then next to your edge highlighting color, make sure that you put your base coat color as well. Okay, or if you, you know, did some modulation highlighting up, just whatever that color is that matches the surface, make sure that you have that next to it. So, for example, in my case, I would, of course, have some black on the palette. So that way, if I make the line too thick, I mess up, I go a little, you know, off the line there, whatever, you just sit there and go back with the black and go in and neaten it up. Because you will be doing a bit of cleanup as you go along, too, and that's perfectly normal. Doesn't mean you messed up, nothing like that. All right. And that's edge highlighting. So I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope that that little uh, tip was helpful to you. Please feel free to leave a, put a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Tell us if you're working on any ha edge highlighting right now. And also be sure to subscribe and find us online at metalheadminis.com. And also be sure to check out Nova Open for their raffles and other stuff for raising money for charity. Thank you. Have a great day.